Good morning. Steve from the Lazy E Homestead. We uh, had something show up today. What could it be? Well, I don't know. Uh, let's just uh, flip this camera around and show you what came in today. Ta da! We got a pallet of stuff. What is this pallet of things? Oh, some of you might already know what this is. But let me just show you. Uh, looky there. We've got solar panels. We got 12 solar panels. Super excited about this one. So there's gonna be uh, a whole lot of fun trying to mount these things. So I gotta fi figure out my ground mount, but it's gonna be sitting over there on the other side of the rock pile. But yeah, it's uh, it's coming down or going down or going up or something. Something's happening. <laughs> so anyway, we got solar panels. So uh, let's put up a mount. start this ground is so hard I can only go down eight inches six inches somewhere in there with the auger and then I'll take and fill it up with water two times today and then tomorrow whoop, it will go all the way down there I'm drilling them down to about 30 inches 31 inches somewhere in there. Got it done for the most part. The uh, solar panel uh, ground mount, I got my panels 
mounted. So, uh, wanted to show you guys basically how I built the mount, uh, everything, how everything's kind of put together. And the crazy thing is, is all this, sorry, I was getting a little closer. <laughs> uh, the way I did all of this was actually trying to do it on a budget. And I think it came out pretty good. The, uh, we're trying to, you know, with lumber costs and everything you know, sky high right now, it's, it's been kind of difficult being able to do things and money being a little tight, you know, you do what you got to do. So everything that we did, uh, on this panel, uh, mount, solar panel ground mount was all, uh, coal lumber, which, uh, some of you know it's it's that lumber you get at Lowe's uh, that's warped or damaged or, or something's not right with it. And we got it at Lowe's and it's all 50% off. So, and I'm okay with that. Uh, being warped and and not perfect. I, I prefer to have, you know, nice, you know, straight flat boards and things. But when you're working on a... a tight budget and and trying to make things work uh but you want it to you know we want it to last and i want it to be strong and and solid so i tried uh a couple things and and so far it, it seemed like it worked good and so i went ahead and proceeded and and built the mount uh so let me turn this around here and kind of show you uh and kind of tell you what i did here ta-da Anyway, so here it is. I've got all 12 panels mounted on the lovely ground mount. So, as you can see, I've got everything's still kind of a mess because I, I just finished working on it right now, and there's still a little bit more I got to do to it. But as you can see, I got posts here in the front, down into the ground, concreted boys' go-kart and their little dirt bikes. I've got posts in the back and goes up top. And what I've done that's too close. Let's see here. Instead of using 4 by 4 posts, I did two by six. Sandwiched them together. Made them nice and solid. And they are, they're all about, about 30 inches in the ground, concreted. Uh, reason only 30 is because my auger on my tractor, um, could only go down so far, and 30 inches was a good depth. And being concreted in, I think it's plenty fine. But anyway, so with the 2 by 6s being sandwiched together, see this one here, I'm trying to get it to focus here. But if you can see, I can still kind of stick my finger in that gap right there. But these were warped. If that works or not you kind of see these were work pretty bad i mean when i say bad i mean bad but i took and sandwiched them together yeah see these are all you know most of them got pretty good but some of them i've got a little bit of gap and that's the best i could get them down i mean when i say these things are warped uh, they, they were, they were kind of like, as it goes and, you know, some curved up like at 45 degree angle. And whenever it's warped that bad, <laughs> it's, you know, it's difficult to work with. But whenever I got them together, I was clamping them and here's the end piece there. 
So you can see there. And I end up doing, and this was the end piece here. So I did screws on one side of the board. And when I flipped it over, the screws were on here. Then I did screws on this other side as well, uh, going down through the, through these. And doing that, it, it sandwiched them together really well, but they're still warped. Let's see if I can get back and kind of see this one here. Right here, this is facing kind of this way. And as it goes up, it goes facing this way. And that posed <laughs> some challenges, uh, especially doing it by myself. Um, it was very, very interesting to say the least. Uh, here's a good example of one there. You can see how this one is this way. And it go, as it goes down, ends up twisting the other way. I'm just kind of explaining what the coal lumber is. So I did the two by sixes in all the posts, concreted in. And then I did two by six by twelves that, let me go back over here and show you. That go from here up to there. And I got them all screwed into there really nice and tight to those posts. And that, that started it up pretty decent. Um, so whenever I did these, the ones that goes uh, front to back, I did them at, and I'm trying to remember, I want to say 42 inches apart. Uh, the reason I did that is because I had a limited number of boards and I was trying not to buy any more. Um, I, I, I feel like it's plenty strong enough. So when I did those, then after that, I go down here in the end, it's still exposed. So through here, the board front to back, up to there. And I've got these two by fours that run all the way down. And those are what the solar panel mounting brackets mount to. The thing I had with those, you can kind of see here, they just mount couple of screws and they've got these nice little ears here that keeps it from the panel sliding up and down I got those all the way down the issue and problem that I had is when I did these this was a mess huh <laughs> all these up through here I had to Drill holes, so you can kind of see there, that's the, the hole from the factory. I had to drill my own holes uh, separate because they, one, they didn't line up, and two, if I did the mounting brackets, they weren't gonna be able to fit, fit back to back. So whenever I, cause I wanted them to have, yeah, it's a nice tight gap. I'm trying to be somewhat waterproof. Um, so whenever I did those, I, I'd mount it, I'd set the panel on here and uh caven and charles would help some and uh actually caven helped out quite a bit on on a lot of this part but whenever i had it all mounted and i had to line the hole um make the holes for the screws i would set it measure it mark it pull it off pull the let's see this bracket here back off lift up this panel so I can fit my drill in there to screw it in. And then after I'd get that bracket mounted to the board, I had to set it back down, put the holes or the bolts back through here and, and mount that. 
Um, but after I do that, I've, obviously I'd have to screw these down here as well. So it was, it was basically <laughs> with 12 panels, it's assemble, disassemble, and then reassemble uh, on every single one of them. And there's 12 panels. That was a mess. Yeah, it wasn't fun, but hey, uh, you do what you gotta do. So, it's not perfect, but you know what? It's working. Everything uh, is all hooked up. I have all 12 panels hooked up, and we're able to, on a good sunshiny day, we're able to not even have to use the generator. Um, for the most part, it's it's doing exactly what we wanted it to do. Uh, so here's another thing that I did. So on the on the back here, the top, I could have done a two by six all the way uh, down, and I didn't have extra two by sixes because I was using those for what I thought and felt that I needed to have uh, the most structure. And whenever I did those, you know, up and down, uh, front to back, I should say, I did the two by fours across. And a two by four, you know, I feel probably wouldn't have been strong enough by itself. So when I did a two by four on the back side here, I also did one on the front side of each one. So it runs down and you can kind of see over there as well, but so it's making contact with the one there, here, and it makes contact here as well. So I have two two by fours, one front, one rear of each two by six that runs up and down. I'm sorry, the, the sun there is probably not helping much to see so you can kind of see how it's mounted there and then mounted here so it's two points of contact on every end of the two by six so i felt like that was going to be a little stronger than just a single two by four so if something was to fail it's kind of got us, I feel a little bit better. Um, there's, there's some things that I, I, I know that I, I should have done better and could have done better. Like I said, uh, the boards I was working with was pretty nasty. Um, some of them was really bad. Uh, there's one of them I couldn't even use at all, but, uh, most of them I, I use the, the good parts, uh, working, with the ones I had and make and uh, some of the stuff uh, work with me and for me. And I was able to, I think, be pretty successful. And the cool thing is it's it's pretty solid. I can take and uh, get it one corner or one side and shake it, uh, try moving it, and it doesn't move. It doesn't go anywhere. Um, whenever I first started there, there was a little bit of movement but it was because there, there wasn't um you know bracing going one way and then the other way it was just kind of one direction once I, I got uh made it or square um the best i could uh and then started adding uh the boards that you know went front to back and then adding the ones that goes uh side to side and uh, that started starting it up pretty good. And then once I add the solar panels to it, 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 it really finished it off. It's, it's tight. Um, I, I'm impressed with it. I, and I think with some of the winds that we get out here, which we get some pretty nasty, uh, harsh winds, uh, coming off over the mountain. Uh, we're kind of in the valley a little bit where it kind of comes off the mountain, uh, and it seems like it picks up speed. Uh, and, and it hits us pretty, pretty bad out here, but I, I feel pretty confident in this that it's gonna uh, work. Hopefully, we'll see. <laughs> but the way I've got the panels, I'll show you. So I've got them wired where I've got all the, the positives ran and then all the negatives ran.
to one positive and then one negative. And I'll show you the splitter here in just a little bit, but it's basically a four to one. So I've got, and each solar panel is 250 watts. So I've got one, two, three, so that's 750 watts on this strand, 750, so that's 1500, 750, 750, 1500, so that's 3000 watts solar array that I've got. And it works out really good um, for the most part. I believe I'm probably gonna have to add uh, maybe some more solar panels, but I'm not gonna do it here. Um, and I purposely did not want um, more panels here because uh, it would have been a massive mount, ground mount. But what I'm planning on doing is I'm gonna, looking at either three or four more solar panels on each side of my solar shed. Uh, so that way it gets the, and that it faces east and west. So that way I have got the morning sun, I've got the panels that'll pick that up, and in the evening sun, uh, the other side panels will pick that up. Here's the splitter. So it's, everything's just kind of temporary for right now. But these are the fuses. So one, two, three, four. So it comes four to one, and that's the positive. And then same thing with the negative, which is right here. One, two, three, four. You can see up inside there. Do that and it goes negative. Eventually I'm gonna have a here or here, probably up in here, I'll have a box and then the wires, all the wires would go under the under the ground in the gray conduit over into the solar shed. So but that is for the most part the the gist of the mount. Um I left that one post sticking up right there. I'm planning on doing one of those outdoor uh, weather stations that tells me how much wind and rain and temperature stuff so but that's pretty much it um i'm sure there's probably some stuff i missed but for the most part uh if you guys have any questions you know, reach out ask i'll answer the best i can uh if i don't know the answer uh i'll make up an answer <laughs> i'm just kidding but yeah it's 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 working uh it's, i'm looking at probably doing uh some more batteries um, and then, so that way we've got a little bit more juice to last us overnight because honestly, this fat boy likes air conditioning and I like sleeping in a nice cool house and in the mornings, uh, by the time everything's all said and done, sometimes the batteries are like way down. Um, uh, the other morning when there wasn't much sun, uh, the other morning, the, the batteries died right after we got up. Uh, it was just too low a voltage. So it, but it went all night and, uh, shut off around seven o'clock, uh, in the morning. So not too bad, but I figure if I get a couple more batteries and, uh, give me a little bit more, uh, storage capacity, it should push on through, especially on the days when it's a little cloudy or, uh, if I'm not getting as much, at least I'll be able to have, um, some more, uh, capacity to use things when I need to. So, but anyway, uh, got any other questions, just please reach out. But, uh, most of all, if you guys like the video, uh, make sure you, uh, like and subscribe and share content. And here's one of my helpers. Hello. <laughs> What'd you think about helping building the, the solar mount? Fun. Fun. It was a lot of work, wasn't it? Yeah. Those panels get kind of heavy when you're trying to go up top <laughs> and you're short. <laughs> Yeah, he'll get tall. For too long, it'll be like this. He'll be taller than me. I kind of hurt my leg a little bit, a little weak there. But anyway, all right, guys. Thanks very much. We appreciate you. Love y'all. And uh, thanks for watching. Lazy Homestead. And then we got Bruce in the back. What you doing? <laughs> See you guys.